Too bad you can't do that for a living. <laughs> You'd be very successful at it. You could sell out Madison Square Garden. Thousands of people could watch you. You could be a big star. All right, well, that's enough. Estelle Harris is actually a, was also a New York-based actress who coincident happened to be in Los Angeles during the casting of that. Otherwise, I don't think she would have ever been considered. My son brought me to the audition, and because he said this is an important one, I had never seen Seinfeld. She had a you know a delivery that was like nails on a chalkboard. And again, it's one of those things. Two seconds, you just you just know it. Not only the, the, the voice is great, the look is perfect. The fact that she was so small was really sort of the perfect compliment to uh, Jason Alexander. We were laughing at the resemblance, the resemblance of her and Jason. To have brought Estelle Harris in as my mom, who I got to tell you, my mother is a little tiny round woman with red hair. Estelle is a little tiny round woman with red hair. Their voices aren't quite the same. Estelle is, is, is you know, far more interesting sound, but the things that come out of their mouths are damn close. He found my mother. I looked at the sides and I saw, I come into the room and I see my son treating his body like it was an amusement park. What does that mean? Masturbating. No, that's impossible. You're wrong. I don't understand why you can't do this for me. I just got here, Ma. I'd like to spend a little time with you. But if you wait, they won't let you back in. Visiting hours are almost over. Ten minutes. Here, here, have some Tic Tacs. <laughs> I'm watching the shadow play, and I go, have a Tic Tac, and I just threw it at, I threw the box of Tic Tacs at her and landed on her chest on the bed, and she fell out. She was gone. I got so hysterical that you can ask anybody that was there with me. I couldn't stop giggling for about 20 minutes. I went, oh, I love this one. This is, this is gold, just gold. I knew Estelle Harris the minute I walked on the set. <laughs> she reminded me of my father's third wife. And uh, <laughs> I didn't have to act with Estelle. I knew how, where things were with us from the moment she opened her mouth. Yeah, you know, my friend, the bra salesman, he says they're looking to maybe put somebody on, so I got you an interview next Friday with his boss. Next Friday? What time? Two o'clock. That's my whole afternoon! <laughs> I was gonna look for sneakers! You can look for sneakers the next day! <laughs> he doesn't know anything about bras. I know a little. Besides, what do you have to know? Well, it wouldn't hurt to go in and be able to discuss it intelligently. <laughs> Maybe you should take a look at a few bras. Where's your bra? Give him a bra to look at. I'm not giving him a bra. Why not? Because I don't need him looking at my bra. Fine, so he'll go into the interview, he wouldn't know what he's talking about. And I said, oh good, he's the maniac now. He's taking over and I can be more prim and proper. And we gelled. I always knew you had beautiful hands. I used to tell people, Frank, didn't I used to talk about his hands? Who the hell did you ever mention his hands to? I mentioned his hands to plenty of people. You never mentioned it to me. Georgie, would you like some jello? Why'd you put the bananas in there? George likes the bananas! So let him have bananas on the side! All right, please! Please! I cannot have this constant bickering. Well, I think you're in denial. Why would I deny it? Because you can't face the fact that I'm... I'm... <laughs> Every day it's something else with you. I don't know anything about you anymore. Who are you? What kind of life are you leading? Who knows what you're doing? Maybe you're making porno films. Yeah. I'm buck naked. Who? Buck naked? In the audience show that night, when we shot the scene, Estelle Harris couldn't be there. And Fran Drescher sat in for her in front of the audience. What kind of a life are you leading? <laughs> Who the hell knows what you're doing? Maybe you're making porno films. <laughs> yeah, I'm buck naked.
buck naked. <laughs> when you work with Michael in a scene uh, in front of camera where you can do it over and over again, uh, Michael never does it the same way. So you can never be sure of how he's going to do it, which keeps you alert as to how you are going to uh, react. Hey, Kramer, what, what are you doing Tuesday afternoon? Tuesday afternoon? I don't know, maybe I'll run for governor. <laughs> I don't know, nothing. You sure? Well, maybe I'll run for president. <laughs> what? Yeah. What do you want to do? Michael Richards, as a, as a person, is an enigma. Kind, generous, unusual. He's a nut. Georgie, what are you doing here? I, I need the doormat. Georgie, this was not my idea. It must be eating you up inside seeing your old room like this. Oh, my poor baby. You're so upset you can't even look at it. Do you have the doormat? All the nights I spent with you in this room, getting you undressed putting you into bed, watching you sleep. <laughs> you ever think of those times? No! Never! Never! Well, I remember when I found out via phone that my son was getting married, and I got to speak to the girl, didn't even know what she looked like. Uh, hello? Congratulations! I just want you to know that I love your son very much. You do? Yeah. Really? Yeah. May I ask why? <laughs> they didn't serve the bread, and they did not serve the cake. So they didn't give you a piece of cake. Big deal. It is a big deal. You're supposed to serve cake after a meal. I'm sorry. It's impolite. Not impolite. It's stupid. That's what it is. You gotta be stupid to do something like that. Your father is absolutely right. We're sitting there like idiots drinking coffee without a piece of cake. What is this? The marble rye? Latvian Orthodox? What is Latvian Orthodox? It's a religion. Why are you doing this? For a woman. A woman? What, are you out of your mind? Why can't you do anything like a normal person? Wait, is this the group that goes out and mutilates squirrels? <laughs> oh, it's a regular religion. Then why haven't I heard of it? I'm calling my lawyer. It might not be too late to get out of this. I don't want to get out of it. Oh, George. Oh, 